Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you a very powerful technique that you can use for integration, for Laplace transforms, and many other things in mathematics. It's called the cover-up method, and it's a technique that is used in partial fraction decomposition. So this is an example uh, from my book, Precalculus for Legends, and I've copied it down correctly, so it looks good. Let's get right to it. This is something that is very, very powerful, and once you know how to do it, you can just do it super fast, okay? So first step in the partial fraction decomposition is to set it up, okay? So whenever you have linear factors, right? There's a one here, there's a one here. All you do is write a capital letter and you write the factor below it like this. A over x plus one, okay? That takes care of this, this x plus one. Now we go to the x plus two, so it'll be plus b over x plus 2. Okay, so now we're going to find a and b and we're done. Okay, we're going to find a and b and we're done. So normally, like in my book, what I do is I, I multiply by x plus 1, x plus 2, and then you plug in some numbers and you go through a whole process. And that's the standard way of doing it. That's how it's taught in school. That's how most books teach it. I'm going to show you a more powerful technique that's not in my book. And, and the reason it's not in my book is because it's really hard to explain it with, without using my hands. It's hard to like write it down and explain it. It's one of those things that it's just hard to explain with the book. All right, so we're gonna find A, so watch this. This is where the powerful stuff happens. And again, it's called the cover up method. So to find A, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write A, um, I'll write it up here. So, so you can definitely see it. To find A, what you do is you look under A and you say, hey, what makes this undefined? Well, negative one, right? If I put a negative one here, it's gonna be a over zero, right? Or what, what makes the bottom zero? Negative one. So then you come over here and you cover it up, you see? You cover it up with your hand or your finger, because you know when you're writing on paper, you can't use your hand because you'll cover up the whole problem. So you cover it up. And then you plug in what, what causes the problem. So negative one causes a problem. So it's three, I love this method, negative one plus two. So you look, look at what's under A, you cover it up and you plug in the issue. That's three over one, so it's three, boom. That's how pros do it. Let's find B, same thing for B, I'll do it over here. We can squeeze it in anywhere, maybe even on the wall. No, not on the wall. What makes this undefined? Negative two, right? So you cover it up and then you plug in negative two for the X. So three over negative two plus one, three over negative two plus one. That's three over negative one, which is negative three, right? Beautiful. Let's find A again. To find A, you cover up what's under A, plug in negative one. Three over negative one plus two is three over one, which is three. Boom. To find B, we cover up what's under B. Negative two causes the issue. Three over negative two plus one is three over negative one, which is negative three. Boom, we did it. Now all we gotta do is plug in these numbers and we got this. We are invincible with the cover up method. This is one of the most powerful, useful math things you can learn. I mean, it's not gonna you know, solve all of the world problems or anything, but, but it is extremely powerful for integration and Laplace transforms. And you know, when you're doing other math, this is just like one little step. So you wanna just get it done. And this powerful method is, is a way to do that. It's named after a physicist, by the way. Oliver Heaviside, I believe, yeah. Uh, and let me just check, I have all the answers. This book has, all my books have full solutions to every single example and every single exercise. So I have three over x plus one minus three over x plus two. We did it, we did it right. As always, check out my books, link in the description. Check out my courses, they're on Udemy. Use the links in the description or from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Key takeaway, the cover-up method is extremely powerful. I hope it's been helpful. Stay strong, my friends.